in the deepest eons of history, before mankind had even emerged from primordial ooze, the Necrontier dominated the galaxy. But unity receded, even as the bounds of their domain expanded. Fearing the collapse of their civilization, the leaders of the Necrontier assailed the Old Ones, seeking to wrest from them the secret of eternal life. The galaxy blazed with the fires of war. Too late, the Necrontier realized the impossibility of victory. Thus, they embraced damnation. The Star Gods, the Catan, walked amongst them, offering prized immortality and long-sought victory. So ended the Necrontier of old. Betrayed by the ambition of Zarek, the Silent King, they were dragged in chains to the fires of biotransference, transmuted from fragile and radiation-cursed bodies to forms more suited for the ravages of war. Stripped of flesh, of mortality, even of their souls, the Necrontier passed from history. Only the Necrons remained. Now enslaved to the will of the Catan, the Necrons at last altered the course of the war. Cosmic battle lines buckled and at last broke beneath a tide of immortal fury. As the last of the Old Ones fell, Zarek led what remained of his people in revolt against their Catan masters. The Star Gods were overthrown, shattered into shards and forced to serve those they had once ruled. But centuries of war had taken their toll on both the Necrons and the galaxy. To preserve what remained of their empire, the Necrons retreated to colossal stasis tombs to sleep away millennia while their domain healed and their rivals passed into dust. Freed from the shackles of time, the passing millennia meant nothing to them. Sixty million years have passed, and the ancient tombs are once more stirring to life. The Necrons, forgotten by all but the Eldari, are returning to claim what was theirs. They will abide no trespassers. With the awakening of their Therion, Kefrek the Unbroken, the Neferu dynasty arises once more. Undying legions stir in the forgotten dirt of a hundred worlds. The reconquest of the galaxy has begun.